welcome back to another exciting and thrill-filled adventure with DIY Nautical Dream. Okay, maybe that was a little over the top. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get our next video started. We're so happy it was all worth it in the end. The patience, the praying, the waiting, the hoping, the wishing, the dreaming. It all came true in the end for us. From here atop Mailbox Peak, welcome back to another episode of DIY Nautical Dream. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Rich. Together, and together we I make DIY Nautical, Nautical Dream. And we struggled to get up here. This was not easy. So, we're back, happy and alive. <laughs> <laughs> we survived that one, didn't we? Yeah. So, um, anyways, um, we are very thankful after the disaster survey. It was a heartbreak. Um, we're very thankful that we made it work. We're glad that the owner take our offer. We're really thankful things worked out the way they did. You know, we prayed, we wanted a strong sign to show us this was the boat we were really looking for, that this was the right direction for us to go. And in the end, the whole survey di disaster ended up being a huge blessing in disguise for us. We continued to hope that this was the right direction. We continued to pray about it and really kind of back away from it emotionally step out of it as though we're not going to buy this boat let's really evaluate what the surveyor had to say to prepare ourselves for the fact that we're possibly going to be looking at other boats to buy and then once we got the information from the surveyor and really you encouraged me to like look at it and think hey we can probably do this a lot of these things on here we can probably do we probably have the capabilities now. And I think if you hadn't have said that, maybe we would have stepped away from this entirely. But when you said that, it kind of like surprised me. And it reminded me that we do have the ability to learn to do things. Mm -hmm. And we have the ability to try and we don't quit. We don't give up. In fact, if it was easy, we wouldn't be doing it. And this is one of those situations where Based on what you said, based on the surveyor, we stepped away, regrouped our thoughts, and we came at this from a different angle. And we were able to renegotiate the whole entire purchase contract. And in the end, we were able to move forward with the purchase of this boat. We got our emotions out of the purchase process, and we were able to move forward with it and renegotiate. Once we came back with the information that the surveyor had written down, got together back with the broker he in turn got a hold of the owner of the boat and told them that we renegotiated based on what we learned on survey day and the owner had to think about it and consider if they wanted to come down on the price of the boat which eventually they did but we didn't know they were going to accept it or not so we basically had to get in that mindset that this is done for us. Yeah, it's you know? like hanging up in the air with no conclusion. So we had to let it go. We had to totally let it go and see if it comes back to us, to see if the offer is meant for us, if the boat is meant for us, if the deal is meant for us. But anyways, this whole process takes six months, right? Start to finish, six from months. the very first time we looked at this boat to the day that we signed papers on this boat was a little bit more than six months. We went to this boat three different times 
before this was all said and done and looked through it. Uh, we're gonna show you our beautiful boat. Yep. We're gonna show you a walkthrough of the interior of our beautiful new to us boat. She's very rough around the edges. She needs a lot of love and care and TLC to get her back to being a thing of beauty again. Uh, we know this is a large project. We know that we bit off a big bite. And you know, we know this is not something that's gonna get done overnight. This is gonna take a very long time to get her. All right, here we are starting out in the forward bedroom. Just kind of giving a walk around. Let's see what it looks like. Got some life jackets. Lots of life jackets. Nice storage area there. Okay. Lots of storage. Not a bad size bed. Storage over along there. Nice woodwork inside here. Okay. I'm gonna start heading aft. If you look at the floor, the floor is really nice looking in here. Like that. So here's the forward bathroom. And then shower on this side. It's forward shower and washing machine and dryer. I don't know if it works or not, but I hope so. Going aft. Main salon area. maker TV seating area <clears throat> very roomy main salon area Then you have a little radio area here for all your electronics and navigation table. This flips up. And storage under here. Nice collection of radios. I know how one of them works. The rest, not so sure. But anyways, we'll figure it out. Nice little Bose speakers throughout the area here. A little TV. The headliner here, obviously, is going to need some attention. That's caused due to some leaks and also the windows. They're going to need some attention. And back here we have, um, I'm not sure what we'll call this area here, but it looks like there's a area for manuals, um, charts, all the breaker panels, <clears throat> access to uh, engine room on this side, access to the uh, water manifold, uh, shower sump, holding tank. Now, on some of the 
some of the other models of the 52 this is actually a sleeping area with bunk beds in it but um, I don't think we're gonna do that in this one but we'll see never know One thing about it right now, this time of year, it's very cold inside here. So start working our way backwards, back a little bit more. This here is a freezer. It's either the freezer or the refrigerator. I'm not sure yet, but it does work. We have them turned off right now, but we were running them, ran them yesterday. And then over here is a another one lots of room in there we'll put some kind of lighting in there or something that when they open up that we'll be able to see what's in there and then uh, got all kinds of uh, storage space for glasses and uh, we'll be getting rid of all these storage here that's pretty nifty like how that works and same thing here very cool more storage in there Not sure what we're gonna do with this area here, but it's nice, but I don't know. We don't drink, so I don't know what we'll do with this, but we'll put something in there, we'll find a use for it. A little sink here. Works. And we'll start walking aft. We have a stove here that we're going to see if we can bring back to life, get it working, cleaned it, all that sort of thing. We have a coffee maker, we have a microwave, and then a kitchen sink, more storage. That oh, sink looks like it's cleaning up okay, huh? That's good. Then we have more storage here. And then over here we have uh, this is our access to the engine compartment. And here we have uh, the Yanmar diesel. It's turbo, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hopefully, we won't have any issues with that. It does run. And then we have our generator right there. We have a hot water heater. We have water maker. Don't know if it works. I have zero experience with that. So, a lot of things to learn about here. I'm not sure what all that is back there. I, I believe that's the... Uh, the water pressure pump for the water maker to force the water through the membranes and all that but I'm not sure so the one thing that I have not been able to find so far are the battery master switches to turn on and off the power to the boat uh, they do have a, a switch right here but I'm not sure that's the battery master I think that's just to turn power on and off to the engine to the starter system. Maybe have some storage back here. Oh, looks like we do have an extra spare float switch for the uh, bilge pump. That's cool. And then uh, we have a pressurized water system pump right there. Probably going to be replacing that because it's uh, only working intermittently right now. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Seems to be working today better than it was yesterday, so we'll see what goes on with that.
then here we are in the back bedroom. Okay. So right now, like I said, it's really cold in here. So we have the heater running back here. We only run, it while we only run the heater while we're here on the boat. So just want to keep it nice and somewhat warm while we're in here. So find a better way to heat it up in here. Once we uh, get going on this project, we're just trying to figure things out for right now. So the back bedroom, uh, obviously there's been some water leaks back here. Um, we're gonna fix it. We gotta pop the windows out, reseal them, and then uh, redo the wood paneling behind it. It looks worse than it is. It's really not gonna be that bad of a job. So uh, I have plenty of uh, teak veneer already, so we'll just re-veneer the plywood. And, uh, once the windows are rebedded, that'll take care of the problem there. Same thing over here. Just about every window in this boat has uh, leaks or is going to leak soon. So we'll take care of them all. And then back here, we have a nice little locker area for putting some clothes or whatever in here. Not too bad. But yeah, that's pretty much that's good. Kind of Good storage. Well, let's see if that works. No. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I like the wood. Um, it's got nice wood trim around here. Uh, the bed's all right. I wish I wished it didn't taper in at the foot of the bed, but it does. So we'll just go with that. But it's cool. We got the windows in the back here. Um, everybody knows we've been looking for a boat with windows in the back. <laughs> These ones here, I'd like to open them up a little bit bigger. But we'll see how it is. We'll pop them out, re-bed them, and decide at that point. Uh, it looks like somebody changed a headliner out back here at one time. Uh, we're going to put something nicer back there, but it's not high on the priority list right now. And then uh, there's a nice little uh, vanity here for baby. She can do all her little vanity activities whatever that ends up being and then here's the room nice little sink it's kind of cool I like these these uh, hand painted sinks you can get them online from they're from Mexico I think we're gonna change it out and put a green one in here but we'll see we'll use it for now it's not on the priority list and then uh, this is where all the thought goes into the day so Make sure the decision maker stays working. And then uh, <laughs> back here, nice little uh, shower tub area. Kind of interesting. It's bigger than the one that we have on our, other, our current boat we have now. So that'll be cool. Anyways, nice wood flooring throughout. Probably put some uh, carpeted mats down because this is going to be cold to walk on but anyways and then uh, there's engine access back here as well and then down here is access to the right there propeller shaft um, output that's going to need some new clamps on it one of them I noticed yesterday is broken so I'll have to take care of that before we put it in the water So, lots of projects, lots of boat, and we'll come back and go forward here again. Go all the way forward, do a little walk through. And we'll end up all the way back to the forward bedroom, where we started. Anyways, that's it. And we'll show you more later. Better. Uh, but this is what we were looking for. We were looking for a project boat the whole time. We, it's not like we lowered our standards or anything like that. This is exactly what we wanted the whole time. We wanted a project boat. All the boats we looked at were project boats. None of them were turnkey. This, is, this fits the bill for us. I think everything's just happened for a reason. Yep. Complete blessing is in disguise. Our prayers were answered. We kept our our hope and we just like i said we backed out of it 
and got to the point to where we were willing to let it go and, and it came back to us full circle and better than we expected. So we're pretty happy with it. If you're into DIY boat restoration projects, you're in luck with us because we're gonna be at this a long time. So, and this is exactly what we wanted. We wanted a boat that we could do project mode on up until the time to retire. Yeah. And we're hoping for several years of projects on this boat. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our DIY and we're very excited to show you guys the update or all the projects that we're gonna do to this boat to make it beautiful again. Right. And so after this video, we will really get into our DIY mode. All right, so thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe down, down below. below. All right. See ya. See ya. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Coming up next, the moment we've all been waiting for. DIY project mode coming up. Now there's a nice looking shell. I'd keep that one. And what's that? My idea. Oh, we got a boat coming. It's this guy. Nice. Dang. Five engines on the back. Oh, sweet.